Welcome back. So this time around, I have some very, very interesting items that I've been able to add to the PC. Now, fortunately, I have friends that are always looking around at auctions to see what comes up. And Michael Shane was looking around and found an auction. Um, now, he had already said he was going after the Greenberg. So as we've done many times before, he already said he was going after it. I backed off. But there was plenty of other stuff that was available and really just stuff that you're not going to, you don't come across too often. Um, so this was with Weiss Auctions and surprisingly a lot of the prices were, a lot of the hammer prices were actually really, really good. So these are all photos. So if you don't like photos, this video is not for you. But if you do and you enjoy the history behind them, definitely please stay tuned so starting off we have a non baseball photo this is Barney Ross a hero of Guadalcanal awarded the Silver Star Medal real name was Barnett David Rasofsky world lightweight champion world welterweight champion and her boxing Hall of Fame first man to hold two major titles simultaneously and his life story was turned into a movie so this will add, be added to the Jewish boxing uh, portion of my PC. Now one of the interesting things I found when I opened up the frame. So this piece of paper I've cut out was on the back of the frame. Uh, yes, I had them shipped with the frame because and I'm glad I did and you'll see why later. Um, but when I opened up the frame, this was actually in here. Um, supposedly whoever bought this previously paid $324.75 for this particular photo. A heck of a lot more than I paid. A lot more. Um, but here is the photo. So again, this is Barney Ross. Nineteen thirty-five. Just a great image. Old time boxing photo. So now we're gonna get into some of the real big stuff. You baseball fans will be very very familiar with this. Um, you vintage guys definitely, Hall of Fame guys. Well, there's no Hall of Famers here. Be familiar with. Uh, who took the photos. So we're going to start off with uh, the mistaken Jew, uh, Benny Koff. Lifetime batting average 311. And the interesting thing is, and I knew this before, but he was the Ty Cobb of the Federal League. Federal League was a short-lived league in the mid-teens. And he was later banned from baseball for associating with an unsavory character, which happened to be his brother. This is part of a baseball magazine auction previously and this is an original Charles Conlon photo in Conlon's handwriting on the back next up we have Phil Weintraub New York, Cincinnati, and Philadelphia, and Philadelphia there now. Lifetime batting average 295, 316 and 41, 311 and 38, and 11 RBIs in one game in 1944 during the player shortage. This is obviously him in his Giants uniform. Not really a whole lot of cards. And this is not a Conlon photo, by the way. It's one of the exceptions. William C. Green, still an original photo though. Gotta love the Type 1 photos. And then you'll see the original Baseball Magazine photo. Next up we have Goody Rosen. No relation to Al Rosen. Brooklyn Dodgers, New York Giants, lifetime batting average of 291. 
at 325 and 45 during that same year. He was an all-star. And baseball magazine auction. Old Brooklyn Dodgers Uni. And this is another William C. Green photo. Now we'll get into some of the two more Conlins here. First off, very difficult to find photos of this particular player. And that is Andy Cohen, second baseman, New York Giants, 26 and then 28-29. Again, as I said before, the ironic thing is his rookie card is in 33 Gowdy, um, even though he hadn't played in the majors for some time. He was actually with the Minneapolis Miners when that came, card came out. Um, and the significant thing is this McGraw, John McGraw, the manager of the New York Giants in the 20s, wanted a Jewish player on the team. Um, and they actually traded away Rogers Hornsby in order to make room for Cohen. Now, Hornsby was a ornery type of fellow, so wasn't really much of anything, but he was in the prime of his career and an absolutely phenomenal baseball player. Um, but Cohen had, as it says on the back of the uh, frame, the impossible task of replacing Hornsby. So... Again, Baseball Magazine Auction. Fantastic photo. Cohen. And this is a Charles Conlon original. This is only my second original Cohen photo that I have. Because, again, they just don't pop up. He was not in the majors very long. Um, and, yes, he was positioned to be a star player, but injuries kind of derailed his career completely. And now we get to the biggest surprise of them all. Um, and this was the main piece that I wanted. Um, and that's a Morris Arnovich, um, Charles Conlon photo. And Arnovich, as I've gone over before, was with the Phillies, the Reds, and the New York Giants. Lifetime bat batting average of 287, hit 324 and 39 during that year. He was an all-star, but was not, uh, did not play in that game. Um, and again, the, the surprising thing when I turned this frame around is this was here. This is a cut Morris Arnovich signature. So, absolutely phenomenal bonus um, because I really was not expecting it. Um, what I was expecting is this. It was an original 38 or 39, likely 1939, in his Phillies uniform, Charles Conlon original. And this one has all the markings on the back by Conlon, and it's signed in the bottom right. So just absolutely fantastic piece to add to a very difficult collection of mine, which is the Morris Arnovich uh, portion of my collection. But, so this was all from one auction. Many of these photos were um, groups of two. Um, so Goody Rosen was with Arnovich and Koff was with Cohen, um, the Weintraub, and the Barney Ross were separate lots. Um, so in total, I got four lots, six photos, but the main appeal to me, um, not only are the original photos, but these two key players, um, especially Arnovich, um, are original Charles Conlon photos. So, which is absolutely amazing to find and to have the opportunity to buy. So, and at prices that were very, very reasonable. Um, both concerning the subject matter, because um, contrary to what many may think, um, collecting Jewish players can be quite expensive because many people do. Um, 
but then the Conlon aspect of it um, is very difficult and usually his uh, photos carry quite the premium um, in my opinion beyond what I ended up paying uh, for both of these so at the end of the day it was a pretty good deal um, I will be sending at least these two out to PSA eventually to get slabbed um, and, and authenticated as type 1 Conlon photos um, but we're gonna have to wait for a little while at least um, until submissions are back open so that's what I got for you this time around and until next time please remember to collect what you enjoy enjoy what you collect and don't let anybody especially the market or YouTuber dictate that to you and most importantly have fun and have fun by being active in this community so find your way of participating whether it's making videos watching and commenting going to live streams group chats going to your LCS or local card show or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends the more you put into it the more you'll get out of it the more you learn the more your PC will grow the more people you'll meet and the more fantastic friendships you'll form so I thank you very much for joining me hope to see you again have a good one and bye for now